Good afternoon and happy Saturday, Groovy Citizens. Now, normally y'all used to hear me saying good morning. However, it is afternoon. Actually, it's after one o'clock. But I've been able to get up, run my errands, get stuff done that I need to get done. Because this uh, sky looks like it's going to rain. I'm not sure if it is or isn't. I'll have to look when I'm done doing this vlog. But anywho, anyhow, I hope you all are having a great Saturday. And so let's jump into this topic. So today's topic is new beginnings are on the way. And I just made some notes to just to remind me about what I meant when I wrote that topic down. And I'm talking about for some of you, you're going to experience a new job, new friends, new home, new business, new family. That could be maybe someone in your family is getting ready to have a baby. Somebody's getting married. So you're adding to your family a new car, some of you may be moving to a new city. Mm, but for many of you, you're going to experience new grace, new mercy, mm, new dreams, new possibilities, new relationships, be it friendships, relationships, whatever kind of re relationship that is, but just new relationships. And some of you are going to get a whole new lease on life. Some of you have been going through some stuff, dealing with some stuff, and now is your time to get a whole new lease on life. And I am so happy for you all. And then I just made another little note and I said, your dreams aren't dead, they are just asleep. Joy is coming. Your dreams are getting ready to come to pass. God hasn't forgotten about you. Mm. But I need you to dare to believe and to dream. And so having said that, we're going to get on our way. Myrtle Jean needs to close her door so I don't take her and the door with me. And yeah, so I don't know who needs to hear that. I really don't know. But I hope that what I'm saying today will help you or encourage you or motivate you to, to really truly believe that new beginnings are coming your way. And again, I don't know what form of newness it's coming in, but I do believe it's coming. And not just for you all, but I believe it's coming for me as well. I'm claiming it just like I'm claiming it for y'all. Let me take a sip of my tea. Don't, don't judge me because I don't judge you. I'm glad I'm headed to my sisters because I need a little more... Uh, ice but anyway so yeah uh we we all can use some newness and i don't know about you all but every morning that you wake up god extends new grace and new mercies to you just as he does to me and so for that i am thankful let me close this because it's a little loud i am thankful for that but i'm just praying and i'm asking god to send on the newness in your life whatever that newness might be some of you all, like I said, have been needing a new job because the one you have just doesn't appreciate you anymore. But that new job that you've been praying for, I believe it's coming your way. Some of y'all need a new change of attitude. Come on, somebody. And that's coming your way. Some of you all, and I didn't list this, but it just dawned on me. Some of you all need a new way of thinking. Because some of your, your thinking is just stinking thinking. Y'all know what that is, right? When your, your thinking is just off and you always think the worst. You ever meet somebody that's just always down and and they just complain about every dang on thing. They don't have faith in anything or anybody. Some of you all think like that, but I just want you to know that we're going to get rid of the thinking, stinking thinking because a new mindset is coming your way. And you do have to change your mindset every now and then. And I don't have time to unpack that right now, but maybe I'll do a video sometime down the road where I can talk about changing your mindset because that's huge. That is so huge. Some of you can't experience the newness that's coming your way because your mindset is not right. Mm. Now, I'm gonna let that let I'm gonna let you let that marinate in your spirit. Some of you need to get your mindset together in order to experience this newness that's coming your way. Yes, I said it. That you can get mad, get glad, doesn't make me any never mind. But I did say it because it's the truth. Some of you all really need to change your mindset. But again, that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. So again, I hope something that I said truly resonates with somebody. 
and you can truly appreciate that new beginnings are on the way because I don't know who, again, that I'm talking to, but some of y'all, y'all, it is muggers on the way out here. Some of you have been asking God to send you on um, another chance. You know, I, I don't know about you all, but I'm thankful that God gives us second chances because over the years, we all have messed up in some way, shape, or form in our lives. But God gave you a second chance to, to get it right. And so, you know, I'm thankful for second chances. And second chances come as new beginnings sometimes. And so I am just prayerful and thankful that new beginnings are coming your way. Just like I'm thankful that they're coming my way as well. And I just hope that whatever it was that you've experienced in the past, that you don't allow those things or those people to make you bitter. Because be, being bitter, that'll hold you back too, in case you didn't know that. But use those things that you've gone through up until now to make you a better person. So that's what I like to do. I don't let, when somebody wrongs me or somebody does some shady stuff or, or whatever the case may be, I used to let that kind of stuff just fester in my spirit, but I realized, Michelle, all you're doing is hurting yourself, honey. Because them folks going on about their business and ain't thinking about you. So then I learned not to let that stuff bother me. Instead, you know, learn from it, grow from it. Use it as a, a stepping stool. Use it as, as, like I said, it's a lesson learned. You know, things didn't work out. It's all good. Use it as a lesson learned. So now you know what not to do going forward. You know what people not to deal with going forward because they've already burnt their bridge with you. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to let you be. I was talking to someone, I don't know if it was yesterday or day, but yesterday, I forget what we were talking about. And I said, you know, one of the things that I love in life is that you don't ever, and I mean ever, ever, have to worry about getting bit by a snake when you know where, where it is because you're not going to go anywhere near it. See, if I know, let's say you are the snake in my life, I don't have to worry about you bothering me. I don't have to worry about you attacking me or biting me or trying to bring me down because I'm not going to go anywhere near you because I know you for the snake that you are. Now, the problem comes when you don't know what that snake is, but that's a whole other video for a whole other time. But when you know what that snake is, you don't have to ever worry about getting bit, sweetie, because you're not going to go nowhere near it. So embrace your new beginnings. Forget about what they said or what they did. Forget about all of that. Embrace your new beginnings. I always tell you guys, the best is yet to come. So I need to clear your mind of all that negativity. Let it all go, honey. The best is yet to come. It's your time. What did the song say? The wait is over. It's your time. Walk into your, walk into your gift. That's what I would tell you to do. Walk into your gift. It is your time. Like Diana Ross has said, it's my turn to see what I can see. It is your turn. It's my turn. It's our turn. That's all I have, you guys. I just want to say, go out there. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go out there and do some phenomenal things. Continue to be the phenomenal people that I know that you are. And some of y'all say, Michelle, now how do you know that about me? Because I said so. I declare it and I decree it in the name of Jesus that you are a phenomenal person. And don't you ever let anybody, don't you tell yourself that you're not. Because I believe that you are. See, I always tell people, I'm always going to believe in you. I am always going to believe in you. I choose to see the best in people. Now, I'm no fool. <laughs> Let's be clear. I am no fool. I see people for who they really are. But I always believe that everybody has some good in them. You may have to work a little harder in bringing it out. But everybody has some good in them. But I choose to see the best in you. And, and my prayer is always that God will bless you with the desires of your heart, that God will move you to the next level of wherever it is that you're trying to get to. That's my prayer for each and every one of you daily, because I pray for the world. That means I'm praying for you all. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I want to say thank you for giving me just a little bit of your time. And I hope you come back and watch another one of my vlogs. I tend to vlog every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday mornings. 
every now and then I'll do it on a Tuesday and Thursday, you know, if I have something I truly want to share. But, every, you know, you have to give yourself a break. Because I, while I love vlogging, I love talking to you all, sometimes it gets a little tiresome. So, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I typically take a break. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays, I take a break. But if, if God puts something, and look at this jackal all coming around the corner, all in the middle of the daggone road. Oh, Lord, better be lucky that you ain't hit my car. Because I'm telling you, I would see me showing out snatch all them uh, vampire nails off her hand I digress y'all anyway I lost my train of thought mm. what was I saying oh I vlog on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays I'm saying something else but anyway and don't forget that every Saturday I have a podcast that should be hot off the press in just a few minutes of him to my sister's house I just need to make it public so don't forget to check out my podcast it's called elevator talk with Michelle and I put that out every Saturday I also have a YouTube channel that you can go and check out motivational videos because like I said that is my goal in life that is my purpose in life is to motivate each and every one of you so having said that I am oh and for for those of you this is not your first rodeo welcome back I forgot about you lovelies missed you guys so glad to see you again welcome back as always you all know the drill you know my spiel I love each and every one of you and there's nothing you can do about it absolutely nothing at all so go out there continue to be the amazing people that you are and we will talk again on Monday until then take care